Hey guys, welcome back for another video of the Fiat Destroyer. I'm excited for this unboxing we have today. And this one actually comes from eBay. And yeah, this is a new thing for me. So I'm definitely looking forward to the object inside this box. I don't have anything quite like it. I'm familiar with its manufacturer. But yes, that's right. Anyway, I got it from eBay and I won this on an auction. It was actually listed by the manufacturer or the mint that makes this product and they are known for their higher prices but I was able to get it for a pretty decent price considering the spot price of silver at the time and yes that's right this is a silver object. This box does have a bit of weight to it. All right well that said let's go ahead and get our box cutter here and cut the tape. There we go, We've got the tape cut, and looks like we can just maybe open the box right up. Probably will be an invoice somewhere. Well, let's see, this box is packaged very well. We've got some packing peanuts, and let's see, well, we'll just rip right into it, I guess. Let me remove my invoice here, and now we can dump out the contents of the box. So there we go, all right, camera shake. We did hit the camera, and let's gather up these these peanuts here. We'll save them for later. I'm not hungry right now. Well, I am hungry for silver, I'm just not hungry for peanuts. So, okay, there we go. And we'll get this out of here. And now we can unwrap, this is nice, this is like Christmas. We can just unwrap this gift here. This gift which I purchased for myself. Okay, now we got some bubble wrap. So we'll get this open now. Alright, well this is a canvas bag here. And some of you might already be seeing what this is. Let me go ahead and pull it out. I'll try to pull it out. Oh, there we go. Got everything loose there. And there it is. Tombstone. That's right, got a tombstone. Gonna die someday, so I gotta get a tombstone. Arizona Territory Silver Nugget. Three Nines Fine Silver Certificate of Authenticity. So yes, this is the Silver Tombstone. And some of you may know about this, some of you may not, but it is made by Scottsdale Mint. And Scottsdale Mint is known for their products which are made from higher prices oh nice this is great we get a story look at this the town of tombstone in arizona was found oh it's a town okay it was founded in 1877 by a prospector named ed shifalin ed was staying at camp huachuca as part of his scouting expedition against the apache indians during his time there he would venture out into the wilderness looking for rocks quote unquote all the while ignoring the warnings he received from the soldiers at the camp. They would tell him, oh, I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not. They would tell him, Ed, the only stone you will find out there will be your tombstone. Well, Ed did find a stone, and it was silver. So, remembering the words of warnings from the soldiers, he named his first mine the tombstone. In 1883, writer Patrick Hamilton estimated that during the first four years of activity, the mines produced about... 25 million, worth approximately 633 million today. Wow. Other estimates include USD 40 to 85 million, or about 1.05 to 2.23 billion today. And I wonder if this number would be even higher, considering all the inflation that we had this year in 2020 and the increase in the spot price of silver from when this uh, certificate was made. During these years, famed killings took place in the Tombstone District, such as the gunfight at the OK Corral with Wyatt Earp, Doc Holliday, Billy the Kid, and others. Other mystery killings include miners being found dead with rock drill holes in their chest. Oh, that sounds very morbid. The history and folklore continues today with these silver nugget bars. Pure triple nine fine silver pulled out of the ground and carefully and uniquely crafted by fellow Arizonans in the Scottsdale Mint Foundry just three hours north of Tombstone. No two silver nugget bars will look exactly alike, but all will represent true wealth of silver and a cherished history at the American old 
of the American Old West. Wow, that is great. Love this. I didn't know there was a nice COA. I did know it came in a nice bag, but that said, guys, let's get our, our hands and eyeballs on this right now. Get this bag open here, pull it out. It is a nice heavy chunk, and oh my, that is shiny. Woo! All right. There we go. Check it out. Tombstone Silver Nugget. Arizona Territory. Wow. And then look at the edge. It's got like a frosted edge with a very different texture. So the top face is hammered. Very, uh, a very nice, pleasing sort of hammered texture. It's very regular, but yet very nice mosaic pattern. And wow, look at the lamination there on the edge of that um, nugget here. That just looks a little different than on this side. That, that's really, really cool. And there we've got this texture here. Okay, so how about this side? Let's take a look at this side. 10 ounce Troy, three ninths fine silver. And there you know the, the size. Some of you who are familiar with these know that there's a five ounce, a 10 ounce, and a kilo. Well, I have the 10 ounce. So time will tell if I will be able to get the five ounce and the kilo. So there we go. We've got the Scottsdale emblem there. Very nice. Yes, indeed. <laughs> All right. Wow. This is very heavy in your hands. And there's something about the way in which you are forced to hold this. You see how my fingers are holding this. I guess I could just plop it right in my hand. It's so shiny. I almost hate to do that. But if I just put up my hand carefully like this, I don't want to get too many fingerprints on it. But if I just hold it like this, then it feels more like a normal 10 ounce bar, but actually still pretty heavy because it's it's such a unique dimension. It's very thick and just more narrow. So really cool. But when you hold it like this, you have to squeeze pretty hard to keep it from slipping out of your fingers. And it really feels like you're holding a very heavy object. So what do you think, guys? I was able to get this for a fairly decent price considering the spot at the time. Of course, we did have a spot dip immediately after purchasing, but that's okay. I'm very happy to have this in the collection, in the stack, and look forward to seeing your reaction and engaging with you in the comments down below. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Remember to keep on stacking the silver and keep on destroying that fiat.